Right, good afternoon. Water Rambler here. But for a change, we're out with Mark from Mark and Mara from Maryport. Alright. And the two dogs, Penny and Mont. So we're doing a, a Boffy camp tonight, which is the first for me. So we will crack on. We want to get there and get settled in. Catch yourself. Mark's just putting the leads on. We've come across some cows in the field who look a bit interested. Hopefully they won't bother us. Right, we're getting a bit of height now. Clouding over a little, but hopefully we'll get there in, in dry. Private road, no access this way. But uh, we're heading this way for the Boffy. Boffy watch. Right, our first hurdle, this uh, footpath's apparently closed. Obviously tree harvesting, but uh, it's a long, long way around if we take the, uh, the path behind us. So we're just gonna wing it, see how far we get. Right, we've got through unscathed, nobody uh, stopped us. I mean, basically it's just to protect the uh, the guys loading the lorries, they don't want people walking through, there's timber either side, but we've just got through and uh, we're not bothered anybody, it's all quiet. Right, we've arrived at a wet green boffy now, it's just started to chuck it down. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have the place to ourselves, but we'll soon see. Right, we've arrived in green boffy. We're we'll getting that fired up soon. It's quite spacious. It's got a few rooms uh, attached to it. This is picking out up. Yeah, got like Gabby Dawson down here tonight. But yeah, it's uh, very spacious. What's in here? Ah, the wood store. It's absolutely tipping it down outside, which it said it was going to change. Oh, Monty and Penny, look. Hello. But yeah, looking at the book somebody was in yesterday from uh, Emily Hillison from Sheffield. So we'll uh, will it be adding our monocle to it? She cooking area. So we've got a can of Guinness from Lemonade. Green Boffy. Yeah, most of the snow's all melted. There's a little bit sort of lying around here. Over there. What's left of the timber? Yeah, looks like the rain's uh, settled in for the day. I think the forecast was to rain right through till about nine o'clock tonight, so at least we're well sheltered for the change. All right, rain's eased off a little bit now, but uh, we've got the fire going. Place is starting to warm up. Uh, just come across this local woodcutter. Hey, all right, Mara? Local or yokel? <laughs> yokel. <laughs> Both. Oh, it's quite damp. Yeah, the wood's it's really, do, really wet. Yeah, we'll get on. Right, that's the uh, the tea on the stove cooking. Chicken in black bean sauce for me and Mark's having the all day breakfast. You're welcome to Is the black bean sauce. Cheers, yes. <laughs> that was a gift from Mark. <laughs> Food hell. He doesn't like it apparently. No. <laughs> Goodness, mate. That's right. 
Right, I've changed the, uh, the bulb in the light and now we've got a bit of light. So here's what we have. Uh, there's a limited supply of wood up at this screen, Boffy. What wood we have had, we've had to cut up and dry it out. So that's us trying to dry them, dry the, the wood out. Penny and Monty, they've got the best seats in the house. Look, in front of the fire. You step in here though, it's a lot cooler. There's another fire, but we're not gonna get that one gone tonight. Right, tea time. Let's get stuck in. Oh, I skipped it out again. What about the time now? The label's on upside down, that's the problem. Yeah, sometimes there's issues. Uh, they slip. Yeah, the slip's on the top. And different spots, and I've uh, been trying to look. I'm thinking, why can't they open it? I've seen the wrong end with my eye. But the winter camps are great, they're, they're quick. And you get a warm meal and you get the calories and that, but uh, it's the summer ones don't mind doing a bit of cooking. I'm not a cook, so I just no, fire some you know. Mm, quite nice, right? Yeah, we're looking for these ration packs. Right, we've got a right mess in here. We've had a few cans, some good crack. And the fire's kicking out plenty of heat at the moment. The Monty and Penny's coats drying out. In this smoke filled. Buffy. Cheers, Mark. The bright lights. Thanks for showing me the bright lights of the uh, the Forest. Like a floodlight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just the light of my camera. <laughs> I'm knocking off now. We've got a lovely fire going. Kicking out a bit of heat. Alright. Mother. Well, yeah, John, John, we should have been here with us. That's right. Missing the train. Lovely warm fire. It's not cold. Anybody about? What's on? Next time. The dogs are settling down for the night. Monty and Penny. Got the best seats in the house, I think. Head warm. Are they? Beautiful. You're actually warm, they don't need the jackets on here. Toasty, really toasty. We've got the final few logs on for the night. And the last few drinks. End of the night, we've sucked all our drink. We've used all our fuel, so it's not far off bedtime. So we'll, uh, we'll bring it back in the morning. Adios. Right, morning folks. Breakfast time. Nice and cosy last night. <coughs> Looking cold now. Uh, so, yes. not like a tent where you wake up. You can, you've got headroom, which I'm not used to. Not <laughs> headroom. <laughs> unfortunately, we cannot get the fire without wood and everything. We tried to dry them off last night. We cut some up before we began. Right, get a brew Right, that's us ready. We've cut some more wood for the next persons. Not a lot, we're struggling for wood, but we, we brought one in and managed to uh, cut some more, but uh, that's us for now. Right, 
Well, we landed in the rain and we're departing in the sunshine. We're going to take the alternative route, see where that, uh, where that brings us out. So, it's pleasantly, pleasantly nice. This way, Mara. Just come across the, uh, must be the forester's caravan. Nicely tucked away. Nice spot. Sheltered. Right, we're still on the diversion. We're not back on the route yet. We've done about 10 hours and we still haven't found our route. But uh, I believe very soon we'll be on it. Right, we join the main path back to the car now. We have covered with the detour 8.4 miles. 8.4. We need help. Right, we're on the final hill. And then it's all downhill. All downhill. Thank God for that. Catch you later. Right, uh, Mark says this is the best way to go. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is detour number two. This is apparently the quicker route back to the car. We will see. We will see. I said no, but Mark and I did. <laughs> We're back at the car park. Stone off. So we just there's oh, there's the walk there. Look, yeah, through the woods. So yeah, we come down there. Yeah. So it goes right around that forest there as well. And we're back up to the yes. We're in uh, Stonehof Stargazing Pavilion. Decent sound, isn't it? But there's not much to see today. There wasn't much to see last night either. Just felt the rain then. Right, that's just arriving back. And yet again we've arrived just as the rain arrived, so thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Thanks a lot Mark. Alright, good trip that, thoroughly enjoyed it. Just the, ten, ma the 10 mile hike, this 11 mile hike is it? Oh my god. Anyhow, right, just chucking it. See you again. See ya. Da -da.